Hello YouTube, so I have a comment here asking if I have any productive apps for the Android Wear, and I figured now would be a great time to go over all the previous productive apps that I've had in videos before that if you haven't subscribed to me, you obviously haven't seen, so here we go. This is going to be a bunch of apps that all my subscribers have already seen, but if you haven't subscribed to me, these will all be new to you, and you will enjoy this video. So like I said, there will be no games in this, only productivity. So with nothing left to say, here we go. The first app is called Bubble Cloud Widgets. And it is obviously a watch face that I have showed you guys before. I have the paid version. And basically there's a bunch of widgets here. There's also a launcher right there and you can turn your brightness up and down, which is very handy. And I'd like to state, this is like my favorite developer. He's actually a subscriber to me and I think that's amazing. So shout out to him right now, thank you. And basically there's a bunch of widgets on your watch face which you can use to turn things like your Wi-Fi on and off and change your settings with your sound and look at your battery life on your phone and your device. Start a timer, make a call. Basically very, very handy for getting stuff done on your Android Wear device. And the cool part is every time you use an app on your watch face, it will start to come over here on your main face. So like here's here's your launcher basically. And then every time you click on an app, it'll appear over here the more you use it and it'll get bigger. It's it's a wonderful app. I could go into detail about it, but it would we'd never get finished. There's so much to go over. So definitely check that out. I paid for the uh, premium version just because I like the developer and I wanted to support him. So I recommend you do the same. And I'd like to state all these apps will be in the description down below in order. So you don't have to go on some treasure quest to find them. So just like the video, subscribe. It's all free. Just do it. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. So the next application is called Shazam. And you know what Shazam is. We all know what Shazam is. Basically what it's going to do is find a song when you're playing it and tell you the name of it. I don't think it's going to find this song because it's not a very popular artist. And I was right, it didn't. But yeah, so basically if you're listening to music in a car and you want to know the name of the song, you don't have to take your phone out. You can just simply take your watch out and click on Shazam. So I definitely recommend downloading that even if you've never used it before, you will find yourself using it once or twice. So next is basically an application for texting. And if you ever plan to ever use your device for texting, receiving text, sending text, you will have to download this app called Coffee. I don't know why it's not more popular. I actually had a YouTube comment a while ago stating that I should point it out and I did and I'm super happy thanks to the person who showed me that. So basically it is a application which you can click on and then send a text. Also, if you have friends, unlike me, you will get text messages, which is crazy, you know, and you'll be able to look at the entire conversation on your watch and then reply back to it from there. But like I said, I don't really have any friends, so there's no text messages coming in. But with that said, you can send messages like, where are you to people, a preset message, short and simple, just like that, and it'll send it just right away. So also, if I wanted to, I could go to the uh, little button here in the top left. Oh, look, it's checking weather. That's pretty cool. I could go to the button on the top left here, and it would let me see a bunch of preset messages. Like, I'm driving somewhere, so I'm going to say I'm about to leave. I'm leaving for work, or I'm getting somewhere I just got here, or I'm hungry. So I'm eating. I'll be home for dinner. You get the point. There's also a microphone if you want to use your microphone on your watch, which normally I'm in a public place and it's too loud to use that, so I don't. And there's a keyboard. So this is actually the third app. It's called Flick Key. And there's a microphone there if you want to text uh, with your voice. But basically, it is a full-fledged keyboard on your Android Wear device. So I'm just going to type out the word hello. So if I want to get to the H, I go to the center and swipe to the right. I want to get to the letter E, so we go to the center, swipe up. I want to get to the L, so go to the center, swipe to the right, swipe to the right, and look, it gets my, it guesses my word, so it's right there. So, hello, I can do the new, you get the point, you can just type an entire text message from your watch, super simple, very handy, definitely recommend you pay for that. So, we are going to continue on, the next application is called Audio Recorder. And you may think, I'll never use this, but then one day you'll be sitting there, Someone will be yelling at you and you'll be like, wow, if I could record this right now without them knowing, it would just be amazing. So that's basically why I downloaded it because there's been times before where people are yelling at me or my teacher saying something that I want to record and I don't want to take my phone out and put it on the desk. And you can just record using your microphone on your Android Wear device, which is super handy. It'll save it on your phone so you can play it back later. 
and I love it. I've used it a dozen times before. Obviously, you can't see any of the recordings here because I have deleted them, but it's a wonderful app. It's free. Definitely check it out. The next application you may never use, but like I said, it's good to have just in case. It's called Calculator Begins, and it's an entire calculator on your wrist, like a scientific calculator, may I state. So if we want to do five times the square root of seven, the square root of seven, you can do that, or plus, let's say plus pi. We'll, we'll just really make this a, a complicated computation here. And click equal, and there you go. As you can tell, it's a wonderful calculator. You can do percentages, factorials, anything. It's absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend you download it. And as you can tell, there's your history. So super cool application. Make sure you download that, and one day you'll use it, and you'll be like, wow, that was handy. So we're moving on to the next application called Wi-Fi Manager. And I don't know if there's actually a, yeah, there we go. So it's Wi-Fi manager, you get the point, you can change all your Wi-Fi settings, you can turn your Wi-Fi on and off from your device, you can see the Wi-Fi network you're connected to, and it's wonderful, I absolutely love it. I actually just downloaded it recently because I've been looking for a uh, productivity app, so there it is. And you can turn your Wi-Fi hotspot on and off, and it actually will give you little notifications telling you you've connected to Wi-Fi or not. So we're just going to move right on the line now, and the next application is called Wear Apps Tracker, and it's right there. It will mainly be an application on your phone, and it'll be a convenient location for all the applications you have downloaded on your Android Wear device. So you'll be able to uninstall and install applications, obviously, and see where they all are on your phone, how much storage they're taking, and you can delete them easily from there. Also, when you download an app, you'll get a notification saying that you've downloaded the app, or if you delete an app, you also get a notification. So there's a Wi-Fi hotspot active notification coming from that Wi-Fi app that I just showed you. The next application is called Reddit for Wear, Wear for Reddit. And I absolutely recommend you download this. Even if you're not a fan of Reddit, you will find yourself using it to read the news or funny jokes. It's absolutely lovely, and I really wish I could have it on my Gear S2. But with that said, you can do all types of stuff with the application. You can uh, view all the comments. So let's say we click on this, we click view comments, and it'll pull up all the comments so you can read them on your watch. And I honestly, like this is my favorite application, hands down for the Android Wear device, must have. So here is all the comments. You can just scroll through everyone's comment. And you can give people, uh, you actually can't vote comments up or down yet, but you can vote the entire thread up or down. So we can say vote up. You can also vote it down, but we're not going to do that because I'm a nice guy. So the last application, which you may never use, but like I said, you may as well download because you might find yourself using it one day, is called PDF Reader for Wear. And I just turned my brightness all the way down. Whoops, hold on a second here. You probably can't see anything right now. So PDF Reader for Wear is another application that you probably never use, but it's good just to have. I have an entire calculus cheat sheet on here. You can uh, push any PDF file from your phone to your watch. Basically, you just click on the PDF file and choose that you want to use this application, and it'll push the PDF file to your phone. You can invert the colors on it. You can see all the PDF files that you have on your device. Like I've made PDF files before and put it on here and it's just a wonderful application. So I definitely recommend you try it out. You'll find a use for it, I promise. So that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video, found something that you're gonna use here. I'm Joey, I like the way you click subscribe and I will see you guys in a few weeks for the top Android Wear apps of April. There will be games in that, so be prepared. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.